From Shame Pinata, I'm Colleen Thomas. This is Daily Magic for Peace. Today we will honor the ancestors and ask for their wisdom. Welcome to the circle. So today the only thing you need is an ancestor item. This could be something that you have around your house that maybe you inherited from your family line, could be a picture of a grandmother or a grandfather, or could just be an image in your mind or your heart of an ancestor that you really revere, somebody you admire, somebody maybe you never even met. As we've progressed with these meditations over time, sometimes things in the world around us feel heavier than other times, and not knowing what's happening in the world on the day you're listening to this episode, I can't say exactly what's happening. But just know that as things get lighter and heavier, we're here with you. This circle is here for you. And all of you is always welcome in this circle. To bring a bit of calming to our nervous system today, we're gonna connect in with a vagus nerve And we're going to stimulate that vagus nerve by moving our eyes. It's very simple. We're going to look to the left. We're going to keep our head facing forward and just look to the left for about 20 or 30 seconds. And just do this in a way that's gentle. It's very gentle looking to the side, kind of like you were trying to see who's sitting next to you without turning your head. Just gently looking to the left. Now I invite you to look forward and relax your eyes. Now look to the right, looking to the right side again, very gently. This is extremely subtle work. Just noticing if your body starts to relax just a little bit more. And I invite you to look forward again and relax. Maybe take a breath. And to ground and come into the moment in our bodies, I invite you to find your grounding cord. Find your connection to the earth. Become aware of what you're sitting, standing, or lying on and what is supporting that and what is underneath that until your consciousness drops effortlessly down into the earth beneath you. And when you feel you've connected down to the earth, I invite you to bring that energy up, coming up into your heart. Bring that earth energy up. Draw that earth energy up effortlessly into your heart. Maybe take a breath here. And now let's allow this earth energy to continue up, to continue up through our chest and our head and out the top of our head and out, up, 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 up through the ceiling and the roof and out into the sky flying high, high, high above, going up to the heavens, to the center of the galaxy, to the center of the cosmos. And maybe begin to pull some of that cosmic energy down now, just effortlessly down through the ceiling and crown of your head, down to your heart. Now you have the earth and the cosmic energies in your heart, maybe taking a breath. And just notice how that feels. And turning now to your ancestor item or to that vision of that that ancestor. Maybe this is somebody that you knew well. Maybe this is somebody that you never met. And this could actually be an ancestor you, you don't know. You don't have a picture of. You don't know their name. They're just back in your lineage and you feel a call to connect with them. And I invite you to let yourself be with this person. Maybe picture them facing you. Maybe just sitting someplace comfortable with them. 
if there's a, a place that you like to go in your meditations, maybe see if that feels like a good place to meet with this ancestor, a place where you can connect with them and ask them for their wisdom. I feel like our ancestors who've gone before us can have such a deeper life experience than we do. And sometimes they are a very rich source to turn to for support and for wisdom. And the wisdom that they share with us doesn't need to be in words. Sometimes we might hear our ancestors saying, you know, this, this, or that, that. But sometimes it's more of a feeling, a felt sense. Maybe you don't see their face clearly, or maybe they don't come completely into form, but you feel their presence, and you feel a message, or a knowing, or a learning. So just finding yourself in this safe space, this sacred space, with this ancestor. Ask them for their wisdom Ask them for their learnings. What have they come to tell you today? Maybe it's just a simple being with that's happening. Maybe it's a distinct piece of information being sent to you. Just let the energy exchange, let the wisdom come. Just hold on to this connection very gently, very lovingly until it feels complete. And as we begin to finish this meditation with this ancestor, I invite you to Give them your gratitude. Maybe ask if there's anything they would like you to do to honor them later today. Maybe have a cup of coffee and think of them or pet your dog for them because they miss their dog. I don't know what they might say to you. See if there's anything that they'd like you to do just to honor them and to thank them. And I invite you to begin the transition back to your space that you're in, coming back to waking life, maybe stretching your body a little bit, remembering you're in a body, you're here in this space, in this now moment. And as we close, I would just remind you that the ancestors and our guides and any versions of the numinous we work with most likely are always there for us. As Caroline Casey says, cooperators are standing by. So as we do this work, as we send prayers and intentions all over the world, remember to fill your own cup as much as you can by connecting to your own support systems. May it be so. Thank you so much for being with us today. Your presence, your energy, and your heart make all the difference in healing our world. Remember to breathe today. Breathe and expand. And I hope you join us again next time. Please consider inviting a friend. Daily Magic for Peace is a new series produced by the Shane Pinata team. Subscribe to start each day inspired. Our music is by Terry Hughes. I'm Colleen Thomas. Thanks for listening.